Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we are going to be using multiplication, addition, or subtraction to solve multi-step word problems. And these ones are gonna be a bit tricky. We're talking probably three, four, maybe even five steps in some of these problems. It is going to be absolutely imperative, that means necessary, required, that you find a way to keep yourself organized so that you know what steps need to be taken, what steps you've already taken and how many are left and what you need to do that's left, and what your ultimate goal is. So it's going to be really important to kind of label things and keep yourself organized and on track. And don't forget, we'll use our read, draw, write to guide us. Okay. So let's take a look at our word problem that we're going to solve today. We're just going to do one example today. Here we go. We will start with our step of read. So here is the problem for today. Computer Depot sold 762 reams of paper. Paper Palace sold three times as much paper as Computer Depot and 143 reams more than Office Supply Central. How many reams of paper were sold? by all three stores combined. Whoa, that is a lot of information that we just got in two sentences. So let's break this down a little bit. First of all, what is the ultimate goal? What is the question here? And what they want us to do is to find out how many reams of paper were sold by all three stores combined. So to start, we know that we're going to have to figure out how many reams of paper, and just so you know, a ream of paper is one of those big packages of paper that you buy at the store. So we're gonna have to figure out how many reams all three stores sold all together. So I'm gonna look and see what are the three stores we're talking about. Well, we've got Computer Depot. Instead of writing Computer Depot out, I'm just gonna write CD. We've also got Paper Palace. And we have Office Supply Central, okay? So I've given each of these guys sort of a, a little acronym and I've labeled them smaller in a way that I know and understand what they're going to be. So I need to know how many all of these three sold all together, but first I should organize and figure out how many each single one sold. So here's the really nice thing here for the Computer Depot it's already given to us. Computer Depot sold 762 reams of paper. It's right there. So I'm just going to write that right down. I'm color coding it. No need for you to color code it unless you find it helpful. If you find it a distraction and you get all caught up in the colors, I wouldn't do that. 762. So we know that one already. No mathematics involved. It's given to us. Now let's take a look at our next one, Paper Palace. Here we go. I'm going to look at the next sentence. Paper Palace sold three times as much paper as Computer Depot and 143 rooms more than Office Supply Central. Well, did you notice I stopped highlighting after a minute? It's because that second part, 143 rooms more than Office Supply Central, that's not going to help me figure out how many pieces of paper, how many reams of paper Paper Palace sold. That's going to help me find out how many reams office supply central sold. I can figure out how many reams paper palace sold by just looking at that first part of the sentence. They sold three times as much as computer depot. All right. Well, computer depot sold 762 reams and paper palace sold three times as much. So I'm going to multiply that by three. Notice that I'm writing my multiplication problem way on the left of my paper. I'm not putting it smack in the middle. I'm trying to give myself as much space on my paper as possible, and I'm gonna to work top to bottom, left to right, instead of just writing equations all over the place. Okay, I'm gonna use partial products here, and I'm going to go kind of quick with this because you guys should know how to do this part pretty quickly and easily at this point. Two times three is six. 60 times three is gonna be 180. And 700 times 3 is going to be 2,100. So I'm going to list those here. I do have to scroll down just a little bit. And I'm now I'm going to add all my products. 6 and the zeros are 6. 8 and the zero is 8. 1 and 1 is 2 and 2. 
So I have figured out how many reams Paper Palace sold. It is 2,286. Boy, they sold a lot more than Computer Depot, didn't they? Now to figure out the Office Supply Central. Let's take a look. I'm going to go back and reread the Paper Palace sentence. Paper Palace sold three times as much paper as Computer Depot and 143 reams more than Office Supply Central. Hmm. So Paper Palace sold more than Office Supply Central. So I'm going to have to take Paper Palace's amount, 2,286, and I'm going to have to subtract from that to find out how many reams Office Supply Central sold. I know that I have to subtract 143 because Paper Palace, pause there for a minute because I had to look back, Paper Palace sold 143 more than Office Supply. So if Paper Palace sold 2,286, I will subtract 143 from that to figure out how many reams Office Supply Central sold. Okay, straight subtraction problem here using our algorithm. Six minus three is three, eight minus four is four, two minus one is one, and then we have our 2,000 left. So now I know how much Office Supply Central sold. Look at how I'm keeping everything organized. Now I have all three stores totals of reams of paper. I have to do my last step, which is, actually we'll put a little darker green, how many reams of paper were sold by all three stores combined. So I'm going to take all three stores, and I'm gonna actually start with my larger numbers, and I'm gonna start with the Office Supply Central here, 2,143 plus 2,286 plus 762. Now you can decide, do you wanna split it up into two steps and add two of them and then add the third, or do you wanna do it all in one lump? I like to just do it all in one lump. Now that we have the algorithm, nice and easy. So I'm gonna add all my ones, three plus six plus two is 11. Let's see, four plus eight plus six plus one. Uh, six and four is 10, eight and one is nine, so that makes 19. One plus one plus two plus seven. Well, two, seven, and one make a 10, plus one is 11. And two plus two is four, plus one is five. So I've added up all of the stores, and I have how many reams of paper were sold? 5,191. Now we just did step number two here. We drew it. Now at this point, it's not really a drawing anymore, is it, guys? We're using a bunch of equations to solve the problems. And we're showing our work while we're doing it. Just writing equations isn't enough. You have to write the equations and solve. Now we will write our statement. If you've done all this work, I should do that in a different color, I guess, because it's a last step. If you've done all this work and you've got all these equations written out with your solutions, at this point, you don't need to write a number sentence, okay? They are already here. So the last piece I need is to write a statement. So I'm going to actually include a text box and I think I'll put it right here. And I'm going to go back to the question, how many reams of paper were sold by all three stores? Okay, so how many reams of paper? 5,191. 5,191 reams of paper. And I can always look right back up. Were sold by all three stores combined. That changed to we are, and I don't like that, were. There we go. There's my statement, okay? So think about what the ultimate question is when you go to solve your word problems. Think about what steps you might need to take. Keep yourself organized. Label things. Start from the top and work down. Start at the left and work right so that you don't have equations bouncing all over the place. Keep it organized and sequential so we know exactly which steps came first, second, third, fourth, and so on. If you are a distance learner, this is a good time, if you can, to reach out to another fully distance learner and work on your math together. 
If that's something that you can work out, that would be great. My in-person students are going to be working on these in pairs or threes because these are going to be tricky and it's going to be helpful to have somebody to talk it out with. If you can't get together with another fourth grader who's full distance, maybe ask a parent or a sibling to work on one with you. Do two, pick just two of the word problems that you have in your assignment today. Good luck. Let me know if you need anything and have fun.